Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my bedroom on this September evening as I'm returning to Black Sails Season 2, Episode 5, or Episode 13, based on their <laughs> naming of their episodes. That's going to get confusing as we go along. But, Flint has ordered fire, fire upon the fort. There, the island's one line of defense against any invaders. Cool. And thank all y'alls who very kindly put in the comments last time, reminding me and also explaining how the Bahamas wasn't just for what was on the Bahamas, but where it lay, lied, lay, where it was situated in comparison to the trading routes between South America and Europe and whatnot. So yes, I can see how that is important, how you, how, and how you would want a foothold in that area that was pretty secure. So who comes out on top remains to be seen, but I'm excited to get to it. And thank you so much for being here with me on this adventure. So this is when I remind you that full episode watch long is available on Patreon, where I would love to see you. I have water here. Yes, I have my water have my water and my citrus beverage for today is I'm put some whites whites lemonade with some grenadine and some lime slices because why not why not let me know what you're drinking also let me know where you are in the world I would love to find out so if you're ready I'm ready and let's get to it same night different night <sighs> turn away I thought maybe she perhaps she would make him <laughs> look away from her. <laughs> it would appear we lost track of time. Mm -hmm. Jack, you're probably going to want some pants for this. Surely you must realize this is a fruitless errand. I must try. Why? I'm the only one who can stop him, Pastor. And I'm the only one who knows why he's doing it. Can she? Well, he did leave her the book, so that must mean something. Are we back in the past? We're back in the past. We're back in the past. She feeling shame. Ah, that was the book she was reading to Guthrie, right? I'm going to make arrangements to leave for the country. This fight with your father, the more public it gets, the more visible it gets, the greater the liability I will be for you. Liability? Lieutenant Stupe arrived this morning. Returned from the Bahama Islands. Oh, he went down and back already. Ooh. It's not the rumors that concern me, it's the scrutiny that follows. And what that scrutiny might unearth. So someone might discover you and he shared a bed. Oh, he knows. I'm okay, he, so they are that they open. Dig past that and discover something far more damaging than that. Are they? Are they a triad? Would not surprise me if they were. Captain took lightly. When I arrived. Just after the deed was done, I saw the look on his face. Wait, wait. John told him the truth? But in that moment, he believed it necessary to preserve the hunt for the Urca and her gold. John told him the truth. Flint killed him. Yes. And he's still captain. John told him the truth. Oh, that with the gold still sitting on that beach, he represents our best, perhaps our only chance of retrieving it. Once this business with Vane and the fort is over, that is what the rest of us intend. Um, 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 but I think, I think, Billy. You worried or challenge Flint? Well, the thought crossed my mind. I think Billy would value Gates more than gold? You'll remember that you were the same man 
who when handed a blank page pulled from Mr. Singleton's corpse, stood by the captain for the sake of the bigger picture. And the same kind of perspective is what's called for now. Enough! I'm going to see my brothers now. Well, they're a little busy if you could hear, sir. <gasps> Until I know what you're going to say to the men. <laughs> I can't let you say anything to the men. Um, I think right now it's kind of obvious John knows what he's going to say to the men. Wow. Okay. That's a... That is a conundrum. And he has come back with the beard. I'm sorry, him clean shaven when he gave that smile two episodes ago. Yes, that did something to me. <laughs> Three months. Feels like twice as long. He does look a lot older with the beard. If you were able to secure the support of the royal governor in Nassau. There is no governor in Nassau. Money that Governor Thompson felt he was owed by a particular pirate captain. That captain recruited others. They demanded the governor leave the island at once. Thompson refused, at which point a dozen armed men broke into his home, dragged his wife and nine-year-old <gasps> son out into the street and slit their throats. And then what did they do to the governor? They let him live, so I'm told, so he would tell the tale. And so that there would be no misunderstanding about who is running Nassau now. The ones that you want to pardon. Our plan is dead. Not necessarily. The Navy hasn't made its case yet. If the Sea Lords were to recommend a change of strategy, who would ignore them? The war has got nothing to do with it. Doesn't it? Isn't a lawless Nassau a weakness that Spain could exploit? True. Because you all told me that. Thank you. Leeward turret just lost another 10 foot of her wall. The dust is still clearing. <laughs> Satellite television. Awesome. <laughs> you don't like it? No, no, no. It's quite good. Oh, gosh. She's making this Jolly Roger. Wait. Jolly Roger's just the all around general name for it, right? There must be something approaching perfection. Any idea what direction that might be? Darling, I think we'll both know it when we see it. Never sailed with a captain this particular before. Is this the navigator? We all have the same swords out there. We all have the same guns, but great art has felled empires, and therein lies all the difference. Stalls ain't procured. Articles ain't signed. I've seen the draft articles. I'm fine with them as is. But the men ain't. They got some changes you and I ought to discuss. Is he making any progress? Slowly but surely. Is Anne one of those changes? You were saying something about the articles. It can wait. Oh, I think perhaps she might be. Do you think he's still in it? I think Charles Vane is something you and I survived. What happens to him now is no longer of any concern to me. Ooh. You see the world as it is. You see its truths and how to navigate them, how to... Bend them to your will. It's why I love you. Men like Thomas need men like you to protect them from... The danger is simply too great. What's been going on in this house isn't just some affair. No. They hang men for this. Don't be naive. Don't treat me like I'm someone else. I know what London is too. Why take the risk? For the sake of the pirates of NASA? Thomas was right about its promise. And once the pirate issue has abated... It'll need help to rebuild, help from people like us. Yeah, that pirate issue is so abated. <laughs> but no. <laughs> Who better qualified to oversee the building of the new world than Thomas? So my brain is now worrying, how did Thomas die? <laughs> so they're just gonna have to raise it to the ground so they're just going they're waiting in the secret tunnels I think that's what they're doing it's so dark she's with them how long do you expect 
before the men amassing themselves on the beach begin their assault. Two hours. Take her back to the cell. Make sure she remains safe while I'm gone. No one is to touch her. Understood? Aye. That means you too, sir. Which I hope he wouldn't touch her. No matter how many of his men we kill, he can find more. So you're all leaving? It's too great of a force to defeat. If we attempt to find the body of it, only way to beat it is to cut off its head. So he's just going to go after Flint directly. I take it that's what the subtext of that sentence meant. You desire legitimacy in the eyes of London, but you cannot have it until you find a way to ship something other than stolen goods. What else do they have? The landowners want greater profits, but they cannot have them until they find a way to ship their products out of the port of Nassau, free from the danger of the pirates. There is a partnership to be had here. And there is only one thing standing in the way. The pirates. <laughs> You've explained to your men. Aye, they know your plans to recover the gold must be kept secret and silent. <laughs> you know how to keep a secret between three men? I shoot two of them. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. A fool tries to keep a secret amongst the hundred. I was thinking this is too many people. Adhere to our plan. You will have your gold and I'll have my fort. I don't think they're ever going to get this gold, ever, ever, ever. I think that's where Treasure Island has become Treasure Island. Is this the first time she's been in town in forever? We can make England stronger tomorrow than she is today. We can save NASA. And all it takes is for us to do a very reasonable thing. And if I have learned anything from you, it is that it is moments like these that are the precise measure of a man's courage. Good God. I told you when this began to be careful of those people. I thought you'd heard me, son. You know, I had totally forgotten why James was put with Hamilton. Why was James put with Hamilton? Please remind me. Oh. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh. 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 He arrived oh. just before you did. Mm -hmm. And he told me what you did after he invited you into his home. Oh, yeah. And you flagrantly violated that trust. And you dismissed him from his home. I would like to defend you. I would like to help you recover from yours. But not this. It is too profane. It is too loathsome to be dismissed. So are they talking about the triad relationship? Or just with Mrs. Hamilton? You thought I wouldn't hear what you've done in my own house? This ends quietly and in the manner of my choosing. You are summarily discharged from service and are neither seen nor heard from again. And thus ends James McGraw. And that admiral let him tuck, 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 all the way up the stairs. Hmm. Hmm. Where's Thomas? The cane. The Earl's men. Took him? Took him where? Bethlehem Royal Hospital. <gasps> what? He is to be committed there owing to his uncontrollable grief over having learned of my affair with you. Oh. I have been given until nightfall to vacate this house, and then you and I are to disappear. I have friends in Amsterdam, Paris. Oh, wow. So Lord Ash really helped them out. Get you back here. I'm not leaving. James. We're going to get him out of there. We can't. You watch me. You think you're angry about this? I'm beyond that. I am in because she begged you all, over and over. The danger here is real. Thomas is gone. And now you and I must leave this place. We're not going to Paris, or Brussels, or Amsterdam. And where are you going? Oh, I have thoughts. I have thoughts. The dad said you were looking for me. 
to your knowledge, have any of Flint's crew made their way up to the brothel since coming ashore? <laughs> I think they're a little busy. Back from a lengthy journey and not one of them has felt the need to have a go. I'm just thinking if I was captain and my men went off to fuck around while we're engaged in this battle, mm, do not come back. You're crowding me. I understand this is very important to you, but I can't work like this. Your, your talents are needed elsewhere. Pumpkin is what I'm guessing. Mr. Racken. Mm. A word? With me? <laughs> Thank you, love. <laughs> we need to talk about these articles. And I thought it best if we could have the conversation, just uh, you and I. Anne has got to be in those articles. Max. Let me stop you there. That particular woman is a bond of prostitutional intelligence. She is worth far, far more to this crew than the share it costs to have her. I understand. The problem is, Max's share ain't the only item the men took issue with. We know. There was a complication in the finalizing of the articles. Opposition from the men. It's the whole share, isn't it? It is. Resistance to the idea of formalizing her interest in writing is the second of the two issues I find more troubling. What's that? You. Mr. Hammond situation. They are aware that you were the prime mover behind it and they are less willing to forgive it or forget it in your case. Maybe if they aren't go rapists they would be not worried about it that they will accept one or the other but not both how are we gonna get her to keep turning out those leads when she finds out she ain't getting her own share i don't think that's what he went with what it's only temporary until i gain their trust sooner than later i'll be able to make the case to them directly and you'll be back sailing with us like this never happened Jack, you just proved Max right. This is what is best for both of us in the final analysis. We will sail at the head of this crew. She's got a knife in her hands. Short term to ensure her. Anne? Anne. Perhaps it would help if we went back to the beginning. Oh my God. Oh my God, John. Means by which you manage that escape. Why are you here? Yeah. I beg pardon? I mean, why are you the one here defending? Yeah, I've been wondering, how did Billy wash up on shore? Again, a different shore. In Mr. Gates's absence, the latter role was unfilled. And I thought I could fill it. How the fuck did you manage that? He was there. I tried to tell you once. I'm a hard man not to like. We like him. <laughs> You thought Flint killed both me and Gates, and then you queued up to be the next to fill the post. I don't know if you're either very dangerous or very stupid. So Flint did try to kill him. Are we weren't sure that that has not been made clear? I don't believe in him. To me, he is a means of securing a very valuable prize. No more, no less. When asked by the men, what will you tell them happened on the bow of the walrus that night? What did happen? What happened? Keep focusing on how I went in. That's important. Perhaps you should be more worried about the thing that took me out. Sooner or later, you need to release me. You have no choice. Doesn't he, though? And the longer you delay, the more likely I might choose to take it personally. I would say I have some choice. Not while he's here, you don't. We like him too. <laughs> hmm. Still mate it is for now. After mother was killed in the Rosario raid, you left me here. What kind of a reprehensible shit does something like that to a little girl? I must confess that in that moment, the only way I could think to carry on was to immerse myself in business and to remove myself from this place, from her memory. And left her behind? And for that, I'm sorry. Too late! Too late! 
You left me here because I wasn't your son. Oh, okay. So that was the governor. That was the governor that was pulled out in KKK. I wasn't 100% clear. And I saw no future in which a daughter would have a meaningful part in that. Look how wrong I was. You are making real what was for decades a fantasy. And he will say it all began with a woman who decided to make it so. Because she was left behind by her father. I have Flint here. It would be best if we could be alone. <laughs> that swagger. <laughs> Sorry, that swagger. He is a presence, isn't he? That jacket Everyone upgrade. <gasps> Everyone out. I feel as if this delay in battle against the fort is taking too long. Captain Vane and his men slaughtered another pirate crew in the bay. There are also whispers that it was to steal a hostage being held by that crew, a girl who was now held in that fort. A girl oh, yeah. who would be in harm's way if you were to launch your attack is Abigail Ash. Peter's daughter. And you need to return her to Carolina to her father. You're going to explain to Peter what it is you're trying to accomplish here. Pardons for your men and a stake in their own future. What you want. What Thomas wanted. What we all wanted. I... Will that be a NASA he returns to, though? Peter Ash isn't the man that you remember. This is not a man that we can negotiate with, that I can negotiate with. Of course with. you can. Because you will have just presented him with his only daughter. Safe and unharmed and without conditions. Except for one. You say you fight for the sake of Nassau, for the sake of your men, for the sake of Thomas. I think you're fighting for the sake of fighting. And the only way to keep that voice in your head from driving you mad. What voice? The one telling you to be ashamed of yourself. For having loved him. We knew telling pops off was a way straight to Thomas's pants. Thomas was my husband. I loved him and he loved me. But what he shared with you, it was entirely something else. The only thing I'm ashamed of is that I didn't do something to save him. That instead I listened to you. Inscribed to James. <gasps> oh, he just snuck right up there. Okay. I had a feeling we were gonna end there. I had a feeling we were gonna end there. No one was keeping an eye on the stairs. Huh. <laughs> oh, I have questions. Because we got some good juicy backstory. At least it was backstory confirmed of what I kind of sort of suspected. But the questions I'm left with are. So James and Miranda set off for Nassau. Because he wants to prove something. Did he immediately turn to piracy? What happened to them once they got to Nassau? I'm curious. Do I need to have whole episodes dedicated to it? No, I would be okay with a quick, I'd be okay with a quick flashback. Second question, or at least thought. So it was Guthrie who was, was it Guthrie who was the governor at the time that had his wife and son killed? Because I thought they said it was a different name. Thompson was the governor. Did they change their name? That's why I'm hazy. Two. Second question. 
season one when Billy was telling John or the story was going out about the ship that the Walrus crew went on and there was no prize. Flint just went to kill those people. Those were Thomas's parents, right? The Earl? Was it the Earl? I think it was the Earl. And then the fourth question. Fourth big question. They say Thomas went to Bethlehem. Bedlam. He went to Bedlam. He died there? Or were they told he had died there? Was he murdered there? Is Thomas really dead? Is my thought question. Or is he going to show up out of the blue? At some point. And now we have a battle. Between Bane and Flint. This episode that I thought we are going to have this battle with the thing on the fort. Oh no. <laughs> it had a pause button. It had a pause button. And then Jack and Ann. Oh. <laughs> Huh. Whew. This was an episode where we got a lot, but the action, the needle did not move on the action. We kind of hit a wall and then a bunch of little things were happening in this direction and we weren't going forward. I don't know how maddening that is to me because I always like it when we're still going forward and we hit four. The backstory with Flint, Miranda, and Thomas. Guthrie on Guthrie. Jack and, I mean, uh, John and Billy, John and Billy, Jack and Ann and Max. There was a fifth one. I know there was a fifth one. And this is the halfway point. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, 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 ho. Huh. <laughs> okay, I lost track, but there we go. Episode five. More story to come. Lots more story to come. So please do not be strangers. Hit subscribe so you know when the next episode drops. And this is just your reminder um, to stand up. If you haven't already, take five minutes for yourself to just breathe. And then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all. And until next time. <laughs>